program. And they said it'd be a minute, you know. Okay. Because there's something going on. And then I told him, I said, well, we'll just sit here till the police get here. You know, okay. I'm sitting there, nobody's drawn nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he's sitting in the back running that mouse some more. You all saw all just trying to try to incite something. He's mm -hmm. taping it all on his phone. He's holding that board with his phone in one hand like that. So I okay. can see both his hands, so I'm not real concerned. Right. So he's sitting up there doing that. And then he figures it's about time for him to start rolling up. So he's like he's going to leave. And so he's getting off. He's in the back of the truck. Instead of getting off at the tailgate where the bumper's at, he's climbing off on the bedside to the road. Okay. When I do that, I see that gun. And I don't know what he's going to do. Whether he's going to pull that gun and start shooting when he gets on the other side of it or what. So when he's, when he's in the position like that, I grab him. I walk up and I grab him because I'm either going to put him on the ground or I'm going to get him up where I can get a hold of him. I don't want nobody shooting me. So I, he, he doesn't, he, when I grab him, he pulls back in like that. And that's when I grabbed him and pulled him to the, to the trunk. I got both his arms over the yeah. thing and I grabbed his shooting arm. And by that time, I'd drawn and told him, you just sit put. Okay. So were you on the sidewalk side or the street side? Me, I'm on, I'm on the sidewalk and side. And then he, okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, he, his, his truck's that way, so he's, yeah. the, the bed to the roads where he's getting out. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And okay. I'm just, and I just, I didn't have far to step. And when I, when I got a hold of him, I got to the street side, but when, when he went back in there, we, I stepped behind him and I just pulled him onto the trunk. Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry and to interrupt. He's, probably, he's probably got all that on his phone. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. I have his phone. Mm -hmm. But you need to keep his phone. Yeah. And they don't tell what you might find on there else, too. Okay, okay. So this is the first time he's ever showed up here? Right. Called him out as a stalking based on previous incidents. Good. Has Sled contacted you about anything recently no, regarding the job? Never. This, I mean, this is only the second time I've ever seen this guy, you know? And the first time, we, he let me say two sentences and then threatened to arrest me for contempt. I don't know this fella. I've never had him before me in court other than that Wednesday when mm -hmm. I told him to leave. Sure. And so I don't know. It's not like I sent him to jail or something. Yeah, <laughs> we we'd have any animosity to me to start with. So I don't know. I don't know what all this is about. What all this is about? I don't listen. Good morning, Judge. Do you have a ticket, sir? No, sir. Uh, I would uh, like to swear. Well, out you don't, warrant. sir. Sir, we don't swear out warrants here. This is a courtroom. If you need a warrant, you need to talk to police about swearing out a warrant. It says I can ask a municipal judge. No, sir. I don't. I'm not. I don't investigate cases. Well, I'm just swearing out a warrant. I'm not. I'm not swearing out any warrants. I don't investigate cases. I'm holding court here today. Okay. Well, the, the judicial, the municipal judicial handbook states that I, can, a citizen, can swear out a warrant to no, a sir, municipal no, sir. judge. No, sir. I'm not arguing with you. We're not swearing out any warrants. Okay. So who did you say I need to do it to? I don't know. I'm not doing oh. it here. Okay. Right, have a good day. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, is this hearing recorded? Sir, let me explain something to you. I don't know why you're here, don't care why you're here, but you're not going to disrupt my court. So my suggestion to you is, is to leave, and if you don't leave now, you're going to jail. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Good. So, were you in his courtroom the first time you saw him? Or I was, have you talked to him? Yes, I was trying to swear out a warrant. I don't know if you're aware that the public actually has a right to go to a magistrate and swear out a warrant mm -hmm. uh, on a sworn affidavit. and he looked out on me and said no and said I'll arrest you if you don't leave the courtroom and I left okay. I mean that was it so that's the only that's the first time you ever talked to the room. yeah and then this is the second yeah yeah okay. you can hold my sign out let everybody know what kind of person this guy is and, okay. you know. so why did he hand me your phone and say there's evidence on here it's all on here why did he well, I'm, I'm glad yeah I want so, that evidence okay so what is on it I, I have it in my pocket. I recorded the whole thing. Okay. The whole interaction. Do you it, mind? It if might we, not be video, but like the picture, but the audio for sure. I got it on video a few times, I think. But you know, when you're getting a gun pointed at your head, you don't really. So, do you mind if we sit here and watch it together? I can't hand it to you, but we can sit no, and watch no, it I'm together. Not, I can't do that. No, you I'm can't not, do that. I'm not gonna do that. No, okay. Man. You can see his video. He videoed it too. So. Okay.
it's hard to, for us to figure out what happened because she and her oh, and no, I were not here. Yeah. So I'm if sure, you got a, if I you have, have an eyewitness, if you have a video, I know, but listen to me just for a second. He if has you, a video. If you have a video of it, it certainly helps us figure out. I mean, this, we're getting the statements from the witnesses, but it certainly helps there us is a figure out. Witness, an eyewitness right over there Sir, that has a video of the interaction, and he is willing to give a statement. Okay. I think if, if I were in your position and I had something to show the officers that showed that you hadn't done anything wrong and that, that what you're telling I'd us I'd be glad to, happened, but you're not going to let me have my phone and I'm not giving well, you my We'll password. watch it together. I can't let you have it now because we're yeah. in, in doing an investigation, yeah. but I'm more than happy to let you put your password in so we can watch it together. But right now I can't let you have control of your phone. But Why, um, Why can't you let me have because control? Because you're under investigation right now. So what does that hurt? And, and you and him both have acknowledged that there's something on your phone relevant to this case. Uh, well, so I can't, I can't let you hold well, it. I'll, I'll bring it to the prosecutor. To, I'll just bring the video to the prosecutor. It's help. I don't need you to do it. If you're not willing to get that man's video and his they're, statement, they're doing that right a completely now. independent witness, doing, you're not doing your job. They're doing that right no, now. No. The man just put a gun to my head. He's swearing it. He He's, said, you yanked me off of this, ripped me off of my truck. But, but we need to know what happened prior to that as well. We can't, we have to know what led up to that. He was there. He was yeah. there for the entire thing? Yes. Uh, yeah. We're not to him, bro. No, no. We're here trying no. to figure out, but like I said, we're trying I'm to a, figure out what happened. I'm in handcuffs. We got, we got your side. I'm in handcuffs, and it's a, this, you're here for an aggravated assault is what you're here for. Are those handcuffs behind your back, double locked, and you in the back seat of a car? No, we just you got any on the judge? And just until we hold on, I don't know. I don't, of course not. I don't know where he's at, but I can. We're just trying to figure out what happened. It at is, this point. is his statement or was it body camera recorded? Yes, there is an officer down there with body camera on, and uh, Sergeant Wright has his recording. Well, I just got a gun pointed at my head by a man with his finger on the trigger shaking. Held to my head. This is the main witness, and I got another statement from the second one. This is the main witness, so I have to come. I mean, you can hide him. You have to get a picture of him. What are you I'll ask him. You don't mind, and see if you can send it to the evidence. If he did. Did he say he did? I don't know. He didn't say he did, but he could have. He's on the phone. Okay. Dispatch me. Okay. I have Sergeant Mark's pen, which he used Question. Did you get anything on recording? Did, did you get anything on recording? Actually, yes, I did. Well, so I started the recording and he was screaming about calling the cops. So okay. I was trying to multitask and every time I picked up the phone to try to call, it stopped my video. So I don't know how much I actually got. But yeah, I got 11 seconds there and 13 seconds there. I'll play it for you. I did, and I just called the police station since we were so close. Mm -hmm. And then I've got another few seconds here. I mean, he was just irate, screaming the whole time, which I don't know the whole story. But. Hey, you got a telephone? Right. How you doing? Somebody else, so somebody else walked by. I was trying to get him to call so that I could mm -hmm. keep recording, but. He had headphones on. I don't think he really hurt me. So that's all I got. It's not much. No, actually, that's that's good. Um, do you mind if I send you a link? How you doing? Can you upload it? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, whatever you want me to do. Um, Come on.
Come on, you can say it. No, I'm not saying a thing. Come on. I got nothing. I got not a thing. It really becomes no. a difficult case when it's a judge, right? It's real difficult yeah. to figure out what happened. Um, I think Crawford's there, so it'll be okay. All on camera, independent witness. Oh, yeah. Just don't know what happened. Is aware, so do I still need to be in handcuffs? No, I mean, I'm the victim no. here. I, well, we're still trying to figure out the pieces and parts. Oh, 49 years old. So, now would you like me to walk through? Yeah, tell me what you know so far. Well, I, was, you know I, was right let, I was trying to let you tell your story. That's no, why I you, got my camera. No, you can tell me what, you, what you've been told so far, and I'll tell you if it's right or not. So you don't want to tell me what happened? I've already told three officers. No? If you told three, you, you want to tell four. I mean, you want me to relive this crap uh, multiple times? I'm just asking. And, and, if and you want also, to, you're welcome to. Why, why are you seizing my phone? I am willing to give you the video. You told me you weren't. No, I told you I wouldn't. You want me to give you the password and let you mess around that's on my phone? One hundred percent not. How that conversation went. Okay, well that's that's how I, I thought it was gonna go. No, that is not how okay. it went. So how how? So I told you that we could sit and watch it together. I can't let you control your phone. We can sit and watch the video, the three of us together. And you told me absolutely not. So you can I'll give it to the prosecutor. So I'll, I'll, I'll unlock it, and you'll see me type in the password. I don't, I, I don't care about your password. When am I ever going to look at your like see you to look at your phone? Well, I don't, I don't know what, what I don't know what the is. problem is. I have a lot. I asked you. You you have you you say that you have evidence on there that will help you, and I told you we would love to watch it. That is that will help us clear this up much faster. And I told you we can watch it together. I can't let you control your phone right now because we're doing an investigation. But yeah. we can sit and watch it together. I don't. I mean, like I said, I can I can give it. I mean, if you want to use my phone, that's fine. Okay. And then delay the process. And you know, the the guy's got a clear video of it. If you just, right. if y'all just want to be, y'all just want to be jerks to me and, like and treat me like crap, you know, I understand. Like I explained to you earlier, we already have their videos. Yeah. But we need to know, we need yeah. you and, and him and both, you, can, and you and him both articulated that there was stuff leading and up you, to and that. And you can't make a determination mm -hmm. on this video? There's something that happened prior to that. You and him both say that there's video prior to what started with the witnesses. No, I said they're probably, came halfway I said they're probably through. audio. Well, they came halfway through. Yeah. So we need to know what led up I, to it to do a fair and full investigation. I can't, I can't give y'all uncontrolled access to my phone. No, I cannot do that. Okay, it's fine. I, I have another. Thank God I got the 14 in today. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we're, we're not asking for uncontrolled access. We're asking we're to sit asking down and watch the video. But what happened with I'm willing. Incident. I'm willing to do that. I'll, I'll get my phone. I'll type in the password. I'll play the video. We can watch it. I mean, so y'all don't have willing, to be jerks like I'm this. I'm not willing to give you control of your phone. I'm willing to hold it out in front of you yeah. so you can watch so, what I do to your phone. I took a picture of him. Are you, so, did he? Hey, this Judge John Rawls. But I'm not willing to give you control of your phone at this point. Because we need to. And then what, what happens after you watch the video? Well, then we, we have more information. Okay. But what happens with my phone after you watch the video? It depends on what okay, we yeah. see. It depends on how the investigation goes. Uh, like I said, I, I got 14 in the mail yesterday. I, I'm fine. You got what in the mail? The iPhone 14. You can see uh -oh. that. You can see it. That's fine. I'll get it back. No, you do. You do. You're trying to make this process as difficult as possible. We really we want don't. The content Listen, of what I don't trust here. you guys. I, I don't. I don't. I, okay. That is how I've had that kind of interaction with many people who are in the same uniform you wear. Okay? Okay. They're insane and out of control. And I don't trust you. Then li well, you cops, haven't, you haven't, cops lie all day long. You haven't witnessed any insanity or It's out your of job as a detective to lie to people. You haven't witnessed any insane or out of control people here today. Yeah, and I sure have. We have not. So we've been very fair. Nobody's raised their voice. We've been very direct and very transparent. Told you exactly what we need and why we're here. No, I'm willing to give you the video, but I'm not willing to give you uncontrolled access to my phone. 
We're not asking for uncontrolled access to your phone. No, she's I'm, all she wants to do. You hand it to me. I'll send. I'll see, sir, that, do the link or whatever, that, and then that that allows you to hurt the integrity of our ma'am, case. Ma'am, so I can't let that happen. Ma'am. Giving you your cell phone right now means you could delete things, and that would hurt the well, integrity of then, our investigation. You, you, so you I might want to you that. might want to get another court order because uh, it's already uploaded on my cloud. So, you know, good luck with it. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, are we? Done? That man pointed a gun at my head. I need to rip me off of my truck. I tried to rip to me off of the truck. Talk to Sergeant Ryan okay. about the validity of the CWP. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then pointed a gun at my head. Where were you he on your truck? He told me if I moved, he was gonna he was gonna shoot me. Okay. Where were you on your truck? Where was I? What? Where Where were you in the truck? Okay. I was standing right there at that corner, holding my sign. Okay. Okay. He comes up, starts saying, "I've got something for you," or you know. You're, you're a guy who's been stalking me or something like that. And then he started calling 911. And he started getting real shaky. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm fixing to put a bullet in this guy's head. Okay? So. He said that 911? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm a FOIA request that audio too. So. Um, when he started making those threats, mm -hmm. I said, all right, I'm leaving. Okay? And this that guy was standing there mm -hmm. watching this. Yeah. Okay? And when he started making those threats to shoot me and kill me, I say, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Sure. Put the sign down. Take a step onto my right, my left tire over there. Oh, getting out over the to back. Get, yeah, to yeah. get out over the back, to be as far away from this man as possible. Yeah. And he runs around. I mean, I didn't see him run around, but he had to have because I just swung my leg over and he was there. And he grabbed my belt and my pants and started yanking me down. And... You know, I said, what are you doing? And I jerked away from him and got back in the truck. And I asked. In the you know, bed? Yeah, back in the bed. And that's when uh, he pulled out his gun. He uh, told me to get down on my knees. He grabbed my wrist and he put the gun to my head and told me that if I moved, he was going to shoot me. Okay. And... There's a gentleman over here. An independent witness that yes. watched the whole thing. Okay. At and least, it, I, I know for sure he was there for the me saying, I'm leaving, you know, after yeah. his threat, I'm leaving. And then he saw a man, you know, run around and grab me and try to yank me off the truck. Okay. And, then, and then he saw him doing what he was doing. And he was like, man, you know, stop. What are you doing? You know? Okay. And he was filming? Yes. Okay. Thank and, God. At what point was your phone on? My phone was on the whole time. Like video and audio, or is it just... just well, it would be audio most of the time. Okay. Is it like inside the cab where it's... No, no, no. I have my phone just sitting right here. Okay. Just recording. Yeah. Just, you know, not trying to be in anybody's face, you know, or anything. Yeah, just to protect yourself. Yes, yeah. exactly. And, you know, that's it. I didn't, I didn't even pick up my phone... Till he made the threat to shoot me, you know, and then I put it on him. Cause then, so I put the video on him. Well, it, it was audio and video. I just picked it up and pointed it I got towards. It. Him. Okay, okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it. almost murdered for holding a sign. This is not yeah, yeah. Get that on body cam. Come, let me get it for you. There's nothing wrong. With my sign. He doesn't know the law. State versus Hannah Pole. Yeah, State versus Hannah Pole. Something I'm pretty passionate about. Yeah, what's that about? Uh, a lot of police departments don't realize that the South Carolina Supreme Court has ruled that trespass law, trespass after notice, mm -hmm. does not apply to public property. You cannot be trespassed from public property. Okay. And it is Supreme Court precedents from 1970 and has not changed since. You can read Attorney General's opinions. Uh, as soon as 2017, that even quote State versus Hannibal. So municipal court judges, and they'll charge you with trespass on public property. They don't have a problem. With it, you know, the only way the only way you 
can even cite, you know, Hannah Pole. You, you gotta go up to the next level, you, you know? You gotta go to the circuit court level. You gotta appeal their decision. Yeah. I didn't, man, I didn't know about that. So you're teaching me something. That's what I'm out here to do. Teach people State versus Hannah Pole. All right, so. How can we just look at the audio and video on your phone? Like I said, I'm so, I'm not this person. I'll I'll bring it up. I'll sh I'll let you listen to it. I'll let you hear it. But you know, I'm gonna have my finger on there, ready to click it, so it can go and be in lock mode, so you can't you know have it unlocked. Uh, we're we're. That's you, my problem. Uh, That's I, my only problem. And you know the law as well as I do. I can't listen to the rest of your phone. I don't know. <laughs> you you know that it does. It doesn't matter what the law says. People do what they want to, right? I mean, I'm sure some do. You wouldn't have a job if it, if it didn't, yeah, that's, right? That's a fair point. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I, I can... If y'all don't want to pursue it or you want to seize my phone, that's... that's well, I, I'm being honest with you. I, I'd rather not. I want to try to find a resolution to where I can get your recording and the subsequent video that you have without going through... 500 steps and you can leave with your phone today. Well, that's that's what I'm willing to do. I'm more than willing to You send me the link and I'll upload it and I will sit here for as long as it takes to upload Okay, what if uh What if uh, you're talking to Lieutenant Blackwell over there? What if she holds it in her hand? You type open it up and pull it up. Yes, sir. Does that sound fair? No. To where she can't? No, I've got I've got, I've got No, I can't. I can't do that. I just not willing to do that. I'm, I'm willing to give you the evidence. No problem. I just, you know, it'll, it'll have to be at a later date, I guess. She couldn't hold it in front of you for you to? No. No, I, I don't want anyone to have access to my phone unlocked at all. Uh, but she wouldn't technically. If you got your hand on the back side, you're the one in control touching it. All she's got to do is this. And now she has it unlocked, and she can do whatever she wants with it. I'm not, that's that's my concern. I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Okay. Okay. That's fair points, you're right. So I'm more than willing to give you the video. Okay, let me see. Corporal Melton. So, I mean, I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Hey, sir, what's your full name and date of birth? She has my license. Can you What's your full name? May I ask you what for? It's for the trespass notice. Where am I being trespassed from? 219 Randall Street. So, his, his door, his walls, right? The premises at 219 Randall Street, not the, not the street. The sidewalk? That's not part of the property. We're, they want you trespass from their front. So okay. their door. I can't walk in their door. Is what you're saying? Correct. But I can be on the street, right? Correct. On the sidewalk, right? Correct. Making sure you understand. Yes. Kyle Johnson. Hey, can I go ahead and trespass him from my house, please? He has to be there, sir. You don't live in the city limits. Do you live in the city limits? <laughs> we can't help you there. This is fine. Um. So, we've not offered you, would you like to write a statement? I know you told me what mm -hmm. happened earlier. Do you want to write it down? Do you want the opportunity to write it down? What, well, what's happening? What's going on well, with the investigation? Well, answer the question first. Do you, okay. I, it depends on what's going on with the investigation. What's going on? So, um, let me ask you this question. Do you, you want, you're saying that you were assaulted and that you want him arrested for the assault. Is that correct or not correct? It's aggravated assault. He pointed okay. a gun at my head, and I have an independent witness that okay. saw it all happen. But once and, again, and you sir, have it all is of your that decision. On your phone, right? I know. I'm telling you, it's my decision. I so, want him arrested for aggravated assault. There, that's what she asked. Okay, well, that's what we want. Okay. All right, hang tight, just one sec. Assault, aggravated assault, um, theft here, here for stealing my phone as well. The assault for the initial assault, pulling me off the truck. Uh -huh. The second assault, aggravated assault for pointing a gun at my head, and then taking my phone and taking it from my hand. Uh, that's his theft. Hey, Larson. Yes. Yes. They're going to try and figure out how to take me to jail. I'm sure. But you have my gun, right? Not on me. Well, it's in, in our vehicle? It's in one of the trucks. We know what the conclusion would be if it wasn't a judge. I'll tell you that. That's the problem. Not necessarily. I mean, Not necessarily. It, it doesn't matter who he is. It does. It does. I can't, it does. I don't. An independent witness. Video taped it. Saw it all. Here's, here's his, this, and I'm gonna get the other side. Okay, sir. If you want me to send it to you right yeah, now, I absolutely. will. Absolutely. Okay. So, here's where I'm at. 
you're alleging that you're the victim of a crime. So. Tell me what I gotta do to send her. I'll, I'll email you a link to that email you provided. Okay. Do it now. Yeah. Yeah, or, or a phone number. No, a phone number will send it as a text message. Is that easier or is the email easier? If you want me to just use this one? No, here? a text message would be easier if you just. Yeah, just that use one right there. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I, ne I never email those things to people, man, because I get. I don't know about you, but I get spam and everything oh, yeah. else kicked oh, yeah. out. What's your name? Blackwell. Uh, what's your title? Lieutenant. And the detective's name? Westermeyer. Who's the lady with the three stripes? Um, there were two ladies. Not the one's just an officer, I believe. They well, she well. she's a sergeant as well, but she wasn't. She didn't have her stripes on today. Some Which, some on the wrist. She had three stripes. Okay, somewhere. that was that's Sergeant Wright. I would say we keep both of them for safekeeping. Well, so no, we have to give them the guns back, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we we don't have a yeah, I mean, cause neither one of them right now we can articulate it. He didn't use it to threaten the guy. He just mm -hmm. used. Now, carrying. Let me ask you this. Concealed. When you run mm -hmm. the CWP, does nothing come back? Mm -hmm. So it's just blank. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Can you call your sled friend back? Because it's not coming back anything. Yeah. Like, have you ever run a C CWP on This guy before? probably knows. Mm -hmm. Like, me, have you ever run a CWP on an MDT before? Oh. I mean, I can go run it on my MDT. It comes back to nothing. Because you can only open carry if you have a CWP. Do they have one? I don't know. I mean, yes, it is. Looks like a CWP. Alright, to catch you up. Baby, I can't talk. Are you okay? Okay, Gra Nana. Okay, Nana's picking up Grandma right now, and she'll be home soon. So you can ask her when she gets there. I can't talk. I love you. If I'd seen him, I certainly wouldn't walk past him. You know what I mean? Sure. I was almost ambushed. He's out there just doing his business. I saw John Chuck with John Hanks. It's just like I was ambushed. Because like I said, I was right. I'd ride right, right parallel with him before he said something. Yeah. I'm just opening the road back up so people can actually travel. If I had seen him there, I would have called y'all. But he didn't say nothing, and he, he about ambushed me. I mean, I was yeah. beside his truck when he said something. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. And this street's awful with the sun in there. Well, and there's a lot of traffic yeah. on it, yeah. too. All right, so um, we have an investigator here now, so there we have to do a full investigation before we determine mm -hmm. what's all going on. So right now, nobody's going to jail. Don't know if anybody will go to jail, but we believe that you had articulable fear um, in, in this particular situation, given the facts and circumstances and your interaction with him. We've talked to SLED, that kind of thing. So understand your position. Um, what we don't know yet is what happened prior to. Um, we have your statement. We He won't let us watch his phone. Oh, yeah. So I have it, and we're going to take it and download it and... Um, Get a search warrant and try to see. And I, and I was telling him, um, he, when when the guns pulled and all that stuff, he's got it on tape. Yeah. Prior to that, um, you weren't here, but my wife, I, her nail girl is in that white house there. Where okay. Got, yeah. She calls her up, texts her, and said, "There's a fella out in front of y'all's office in the blue truck with a sign." Mm -hmm. Is that what, Carrie? What time was that? She said around one o'clock. I mean, about, about one o'clock. So I'm getting here okay. shortly thereafter. So he may have, may have just pulled up. Okay. Looks so she got on phone. Um, 
she just said at 108 that there was a guy in the pickup truck in front of the okay. body shop. So he may have been doing what he does and with the I rest of them. I asked her what color truck it was. Mm. She said royal blue. And then I asked her later how long had he been there. And, um, and this was around 140 or so. Mm. And she said he's probably been there about an hour. Okay. He left one time, was gone a few minutes, and then came right back. And she said, like, enough time to, like, run around so the I don't, block. Is she still there? For uh, she she may be. I'm not exactly sure. But that's sure. in the White House there with the House. House. Yeah, okay. uh, Pam Stone, uh, Sloan, Sloan. Sloan. her name. Yeah, I know Pam. She but, has no um, other knows. He may have not. The way he's been doing other people is he'll go out and he'll stalk it like he'll be out there doing something. But he's not necessarily interacting with it. Yeah, Not like he's necessarily interacting with anybody. Okay. And I don't know that he would have known that I would have been in Union and would have parked above him walking this way. Okay. And I wasn't looking for him, no. He'd been right. quiet, so we figured he went on about his business, yeah. you know, from, from our interaction sure. with him Wednesday. And um, so I, I parked, I come, I came down, I came up School Street. Were you aware that he was here when you No, 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 okay. no. So no, you no, hadn't gotten that communication? No, 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 no. No, I hadn't, she hadn't, I hadn't seen anything. Her, so I'm pulling, I'm pulling up School Street. And I go up School Street just a little bit, and I look down behind us here, and there's no parking. So I back up, and I park in the corner parking lot. So I'm parked there, and I get all my stuff. i got my hands full, and, of course, the sun's hitting you in the face. So I'm walking down the street, and I'm not looking for him. <laughs> i got my hands full. And uh, as I get right beside his car, he says something. So he must recognize me then, because I don't know he was looking for me. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, he was facing toward the office there. And... Uh, he said something, and I looked, and then I realized who it was. And he starts just popping off like you weren't expecting me or something, something crazy, but he didn't have a phone. And I said, well, that's, that's fine. And I got my phone out, and I just took a picture of him. And I've got a, I've got a picture of it, and I can forward it to you. And he didn't have a link to evidence.com for that? And he didn't have a, um, and then when I had the phone out, that's when I dialed 911. Okay. And um, at that point, he hadn't got too crazy. But then somewhere in there, while I was dialing 911, you can't see these phones when you when you mess yeah. with them out there. So he must he must have pulled his phone then okay. to have gotten it. But um, are you so? Did he? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's He's going to send you a link. That's what, and there's no phone in his hand. Okay. And then when I'm dealing with him after I call 911, he's holding it with the phone like this. Okay. Click on that link and upload that picture, mm -hmm. and that uploads into our. Mm -hmm. um, evidence software system. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do from here, I assume you want to place on trespass. Okay, so we'll put him on trespass, but that just means he can't come to your building. Um, and, and, we can't and, put him on trespass from the whole street. I, 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 and I'm going I'm to think, I'm going to call um, the solicitor mm -hmm. Barry Barnett. Mm -hmm. They've been building a dossier on him because he's worried everybody over there too. Okay. And they, they're going to try to get a Restraining order, like a circuit court restraining okay. order, and this may be enough for me to get one. Okay. I don't know about the rest of them, but I mean he's he's crazy enough to where I'm really suspicious of him now. Yeah, sled sled confirmed. You know they have the investigation from last week and that there's and, issues. And obviously. that and that was almost an ambush, but I don't think he planned it that way. Is this yours? So I have your fusion center print out. Yes, that's his. Sorry, <laughs> I had it hiding from him in my back of my shirt. So that's, that's ours. That's ours from Sleeve. Y'all can yeah. have that. Well, we we sh we surely got that in an email. I want. Well, you take to that. Take it with. I got plenty of them. Um, so we are going that's to. On, that's I got a mint. I was going to get a mint, but I was also. We'll get you one. Get you one. We've yeah, been absolutely. looking for gum and food and water sure for us. Yes, yeah, you see it right there yes. on the right. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, so much. Um, so we're going to go tell him to scram. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We can't make him, but I think he will leave. Well, he'll, but he's the kind, I told him to leave at the court, and he hung around until, and the police went out told him to leave, he said, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so, but I understand, but I understand, but uh, go ahead. His, C, his CWP is clear. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to swap that from it. So we called SLED just to make mm -hmm. sure it was clear, um, so we can't take or charge him mm -hmm. for anything with a mm -hmm. firearm. Mm -hmm. He didn't threaten you with it. Necessary. I understand your fear, articulable mm -hmm. fear, once you saw it. I get that. But he didn't overtly threaten. No, he anything. never, he never, no, no, but when, so when he was, it. when he's climbing out of that truck, that's when I, I saw it. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm 61, and I'm not going to. I get that part <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that we can't. Yeah, I'm saying, I, and I don't want you to, or, that'll, or keep yeah, it from yeah, him yeah, at this point. That'll take care of itself. So we'll give yours back. We have to give mm -hmm. his back. Um, we're going to put him on trespass. We don't mm -hmm. want trespass. We 
Put him on trespass. Yeah. This is Officer what or Investigator Westmeyer. Hey. Do you have any 77 cops? Yes, I do. I think I do. But I know I was running low on them. Hey, sir. What's your full name and date of birth? She has my license. Can you tell me your full name? Can I ask you what for? Just for the trespass notice. Where am I being trespassed from? From 219 Randall Street. Okay. So if you would go ahead, print and sign. I already gave him his copy, so that's just, you know, he can still be on the street, still mm -hmm. be on the sidewalk, but he's not allowed to come mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. He'll play it. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank you, sir. Five minutes ago. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, in my back place. Well, I'm going to go live mine at the police department. Yeah. Y'all mean lunch? No, we're good. Have you eaten? I just have a peppermint. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm headed back. But if you this is what we do. I know. Don't eat for hours. I can't have you stop. No, I, d I have eaten two peppermints. I am and a protein shake for breakfast. I'm good. Okay. Yes. Hey, what's my Um.